The Republic of Mexico lies south of the United States. The central part is a high plateau bordered on the west and on the east by the Sierra Madre mountains. In the east is a narrow coastal plain which is hot and wet and on which grow palms and some patches of forest. Most of the villages are small. There are few good ports but at Veracruz the harbour has been improved. Here, bags of sugar are being loaded for transport to the interior. Inland, the land rises abruptly. There is plenty of water power, still largely undeveloped. Communications are difficult. There is much mineral wealth, and silver mining is particularly important. There are many volcanic peaks, such as Orizaba, Most of the Mexican people live in the semi-arid but fertile central plateau. Mexico City is situated in the heart of the country. Parts of the city reflect the early Spanish influence. But many streets and buildings have a very modern appearance. These modern buildings contrast with this marketplace in Mexico City. Agriculture is primitive. Maize is the chief crop and the staple food of Mexico. Harvesting. The maize is stored in granaries made of straw and clay until it is needed for grinding into flour. Here, wheat is being threshed. Winnowing. The organ cactus grows throughout the plateau and is cut and replanted to form living hedges. A reed called a cattle is used in making baskets. Most of the houses are made of a local clay called 
adobe. Straw and adobe are mixed with water to make bricks. The bricks are dried in the sun. The thick walls serve as an insulation against extremes of temperature and will last for many years in the dry climate of the Mexican plateau. The produce of the farms and of the local industries are transported to village markets, which are often a considerable distance away. Here, the church occupies a commanding position in the village above the market. apples, onions and radishes, chili peppers, maize for grinding into flour, pineapple, Potatoes are a luxury and are carefully weighed. Pigs. Thus, in many ways, these markets reflect the agricultural background of the Mexican plateau. 